California-based defense innovator Enduro Industries made a major impact at the 2025 Paris Air Show by presenting two of its latest unmanned aerial systems, the Altius 600M and Altius 700M. These next-generation loitering munitions showcase a dramatic evolution in autonomous combat technologies, underscoring the Pentagon's push toward integrated, AI-enabled multi-domain operations. Their introduction has sparked serious interest among NATO forces and European defense officials, reinforcing their strategic potential across future conflict zones. Engineered for extended endurance and precision engagement, the Altius 600M and 700M platforms are optimized for deep penetration into contested territory. These drones aren't just munitions, they're network battlefield assets, capable of merging ISR, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, kinetic action, and electronic warfare. Their debut is more than a product launch, it's a signal of a new direction in air power doctrine. The Altius 600M is a medium-class system designed for versatility, capable of launching from a variety of vectors including aircraft, vehicles, and ships. Meanwhile, the Altius 700M is a heavyweight platform built for long-haul operations and can carry a wider array of mission payloads, lethal or non-lethal. Both are fully integrated with Enduro's proprietary Lattice AI software, allowing one operator to manage multiple drones simultaneously, automating complex mission tasks and slashing decision times under pressure. This latest generation builds on the Altius legacy, which began with Area AS experimental systems before the firm was acquired by Enduro in 2021. Since then, the platform has seen rapid development thanks to Enduro's private sector funding model and close alignment with U.S. defense initiatives. The Altius 600M has already been evaluated under the U.S. Army's Future Tactical Unmanned Aircraft Systems FTUAS, program and incorporated into Special Operations Command SOCOM, experiments. Meanwhile, the larger 700M is undergoing covert testing likely linked to the Air Force's next-gen collaborative strike drone strategy. When stacked against older systems like the Switchblade 600 or Israel's Harrop drone, Altius brings a broader tactical toolbox. The Switchblade is compact but lacks range and multi-mission adaptability. The Harrop delivers endurance but operates as a single-purpose asset. Altius outpaces them both with superior integration into digital warfighting networks and reconfigurable payloads tailored to mission demands. From a strategic standpoint, Altius drones are designed to thrive in high-threat environments, GPS-denied zones, radar-saturated airspace, and electronic warfare-heavy theaters like the Indo-Pacific or Eastern Europe. Their low-cost, high adaptability, and a tritable design make them ideal for swarm-based operations and forward-deployed missions where flexibility is key. Budget-wise, while detailed figures are classified, it is public knowledge that Enduro secured a significant multi-year procurement deal with the U.S. Army in 2024 for Altius 600M units, as part of a comprehensive drone modernization plan. SOCOM has also maintained its investment in the series. The 700M is anticipated to receive its own tranche of funding as the Air Force and Marine Corps evaluate long-range strike options suitable for expeditionary scenarios. Ultimately, the unveiling of Altius 600M and Altius 700M marks a milestone not just for Enduro, but for the future of autonomous warfare. These drones are more than new hardware, they represent a doctrinal leap in how militaries approach ISR, precision targeting, and electronic engagement. In a world of rapidly shifting military dynamics, Altia stands as a flagship symbol of the next wave in smart combat systems.